Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Arahakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the elect. Just want to go into a lesson. We're just going to get straight into it. This is Jeremiah 31. It says, The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, power of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. And this is how we have the scriptures today. The prophets received the word from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and they wrote it down. Okay? It says, For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, Yahweh, see, so the Most High is going to release the nation of Israel out of this captivity, okay, and he's going to bring them back to the land of Israel, but this only applies to the elect, because the majority of our people, they completely gone, they don't want nothing to do with Yahweh, Yahweh, they out here worshiping other gods, you know, doing all kind of wickedness. They don't really want to leave, you know, just like that uh, old generation that was in the wilderness. They didn't really want to leave Egypt, you know, and you got those same individuals back today. So Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, he's not bringing them on, uh, you know, this return uh, trip. <clears throat> it says, for lo, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah. Okay, which proves this is talking about, you know, uh, a future prophecy. Okay, because Israel, they got kicked out of the land. They never came back. Okay, so this is a prophecy dealing with the last days. Because both kingdoms are going to come back and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to, you know, make them one again. It says, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are the words... That the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. So both kingdoms. Okay, because after the Babylonian captivity, the only uh, tribes that went back to the land of Israel was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. The Most High casted the northern kingdom out and then they eventually came over here. They haven't been back over in that land. Okay, since the, uh, you know, before the Assyrian captivity. So this go around, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to bring the whole nation back. It says, and these are the words that the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. And this applies to the ones that's not going to get delivered, man. Okay? There ain't nothing good coming for the majority of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because you don't want to... Return back to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. The Most High has sent forth the prophets to warn you of the things that are getting ready to take place down here on the earth, and you you don't even care about that. You focus on what you got going on, you know, or the achievements that you want to uh, make in life. That's what you focus on. You could care less about what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai wants. It says, "For thus saith the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, we have heard a voice of trembling." Of fear and not of peace, and that's because Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has not pronounced peace to the two thirds. Okay, the only ones that have been given peace by the Heavenly Father is the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, the rest of you Israelites out there, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai still got a problem with you, man. You haven't addressed the accusations that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has presented to you. Okay, you 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 just ignoring the summons. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is summoning you to, to answer for the crimes that you committed, the sins that you committed, and you completely ignore what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai got to say. Okay? You haven't made things right, man. So that wrath of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai still abides on you. Okay? This is uh, Galatians 6 and 16. It says, And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be unto them. Okay? So if you want to be you know, on a on peaceful terms with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you have a, to walk according to this rule, and the majority of our people ain't doing that. So when this time comes, you know that we read about in Jeremiah the thirtieth chapter, you ain't gonna receive peace. Okay, you ain't gonna receive pity and mercy from Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You didn't want to make things right right now. 
It says, and as many as walk according to this rule, peace be unto them and mercy and upon the Israel of the Most High. And that's who Yahweh Yahushai is dealing with the elect. The ones that are obeying Yahweh Shemi Shai and have turned back to him. It says, For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Shai power, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness because great fear is getting ready to compass the majority of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Because you refuse to return back to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and as the scriptures say, the Heavenly Father is a jealous power, man. You out here serving other gods, and you actually have it in your mind that the Most High ain't going to do nothing to you. You don't think Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to take vengeance on you, man, but he's going to do that. Okay, and he's going to do it in the form of sending your worst enemy upon you, Esau Edom. It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, and when you look the word trouble up, the word there is distress, man. So you you getting ready to be distressed on a level that you have never experienced before, man. Because you, you didn't piss the Heavenly Father off. All right, and here it is. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is telling you to return to him. He's telling you to repent so you can escape the judgments that's getting ready to come down here. And you pretty much giving the Heavenly Father the middle finger, man. You know, like to hell with you, I ain't listening, God listen to you. Who are you? You know? It says, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. The time that's coming down here, you ain't gonna be able to compare it to anything that you have experienced, man, in this life or any in any of your past lives. Okay? The things that Jacob is getting ready to experience, it's gonna make slavery look like a walk in the park, man. All right, because Esau Edom, like it says in uh, the book of Revelation, the 12th chapter, he's going to come down with that great wrath, man. And when you look up that word wrath, it goes into basically Esau being in like a drunken rage, man. Somebody that's just completely drunk and they pissed off at you. You can't negotiate or nothing with those individuals, man. They mind is set on, on destroying you. And that's going to be the mentality of Esau Edom in that day, man. And he's targeting you so-called Negroes. Latinos and Native Americans. All right. It says it's even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And the ones that's going to be saved is the Israel of the Heavenly Father. The rest of you people, you're going to be destroyed, man. Okay. It says, for it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, Yahweh Shemi Shai of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck and will burst thy bond. So us being you know, under the authority of Esau, Edom, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to release us from this damn devil's authority, man. Okay. It says, I will break his yoke from off thy neck and will burst thy bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. So we ain't going to be under these other nations anymore. It says, but they shall serve the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, their power and David, their king, whom I will raise up. But see, this is one of the major problems that you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans have, man. You don't want to serve Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You want to be equal with the Heavenly Father. You want the Most High to, you know, give you special privileges without you doing anything. You know, you want to have the blessings, but then not follow Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai's commandments. Okay, and it don't work like that, man. You either do what the Heavenly Father told you to do. You humble yourself down to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, or the Heavenly Father ain't dealing with you, man. Okay, real quick. This is uh, Sirach 7 and 17. It says, humble thyself greatly. Okay, who are you supposed to humble yourself to, man? Yahabah Shem Yahweh Shai. And Jake is in the mentality of just, you know, being completely proud towards the Heavenly Father, man. Like Yahabah Shem Yahweh Shai can't completely crush your ass, man. Okay. It says, humble thyself greatly for the vengeance of the ungodly is fire and worms. And that's what's going to happen to you. You're going to get burned up. Okay. For you ones that make it to that point, you're going to get destroyed by those thermonuclear missiles, man. That's going to be the ultimate judgment. But a lot of you are going to die via starvation. You know, you're going to have uh, 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 diseases. Okay, you're going to be getting ripped up by animals. Some of you are going to get eaten to death, man. All right, you're going to get captured by uh, cannibals. And they're going to pick you off piece by piece, man. This is back at Jeremiah. 
uh, 30 and 9, it says, But they shall serve the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahweshai, their power, and David, their king, whom I will raise up unto them. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, which this is going out to the Israel of the Most High. Okay? The rest of you, you Jakes, the Most High ain't talking to you right here. This is for the ones that believe, the ones that have repented, okay? The ones that are hoping for mercy from Yahabashim, Yahweshai. Okay, it says, Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahweshai, neither be dismayed, because Jake gonna be dismayed out here, man. Nothing that you do is gonna stop these things from taking place. Okay, none of these guys that you worship, none of this manifestation that you niggas is into, okay? This incense burning that you niggas is into, all the madness that Jake is into, man. None of this is going to stop the judgments of Yahweh Yahushai from coming upon you, man. Okay? So Jake is going to be out here dismayed. All right? What's that word dismayed means to lose enthusiasm. Jake basically going to give up, man. Okay? And you're going to learn completely and fully that there is no power outside of Yahweh Yahushai. Okay, the one that you uh, rejected, man. Because the ones that believe in the Heavenly Father, they're going to be good. And you're going to see it with your eyes, man. It says, Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahushai, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity. Okay? So there's no place that's out of the reach of Yahabashim, Yahushai, even though we're all the way on this side of the world. Okay, separated by, you know, a huge uh, uh, body of water. That's not going to hinder Yahabashim Yahushai from saving his uh, creature, man. Okay, we don't got to be over there in the Middle East for Yahabashim Yahushai to deliver us. Okay, the Most High is going to do a spectacular work by sending Yahushai and the rest of the angels down here to deliver the elect, man. All right. It says, for lo, I will save thee from afar and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and shall be in rest and be quiet and none shall make him afraid. It says, for I am with thee, saith the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahabashai, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee, these other nations going to get jacked up. It says, yet will I not make a full end of thee, but I will correct thee in measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished because Jake needs to be punished, man. You got these two thirds out here, these, these wicked Israelites that refuse to come back to Yahabashim Yahushai. They refuse to submit to Yahabashim Yahushai. And the Most High is going to use you to make an example out of you, man. Okay? So it's going to be well known, especially amongst the nation of Israel, that you are not to disobey Yahabashim Yahushai. Okay? But see, this destruction is not for the servants of the Heavenly Father, the true servants. This is for the wicked, man. Okay? They the ones that's going to get caught up in this because they have no clue as to what's going on. Nor do they want to know. They caught up in what they got going on. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. It says, But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahawashai, so cometh as a thief in the night. Okay? Because it's going to catch these people off guard, man. The last thing that these people are, are thinking about and anticipating is Yahabashim Yahushai coming back. Okay? Just like you read in the book of uh, 2nd Ezra, the 13th chapter, it says, uh, you know, basically that Yahushai is going to come to the astonishment of them that dwell upon the earth. And that's not just talking about these heathen nations, man. That's including Jake. Jake ain't expecting these things that's uh, uh, getting ready to go down to go down. Jake don't expect Yahushai to come back. You know, especially in the manner that he's going to come back in on those chariots, man. That's the secret that Yahweh Shimei Yahushai has revealed unto us. Okay. And what proves that is you see these Israelites, okay, these bugged out uh, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that's still in the world. They'll see the chariots and they'll bug the hell out, man. They think it's aliens. They think they're getting invaded or something, not knowing. That those things are actually, uh, you know, for their turn, man. It says, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord, Yahabashim, Yahushai, so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. 
and they shall not escape. And when they shall say peace and safety, that's going into the elites, basically declaring that their uh, uh, enterprise is successful. OK, them sitting down at the table, getting ready to eat, you know, getting ready to enjoy the, the benefits of their, their new world order. That's when you how about Shimmy Awashai going to jack your ass up, man. Like it says in uh, the book of Job that uh, the Most High is going to rain those nuclear missiles down on you while you eat. All right. It says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And you ain't going to be able to escape this. Okay? You damn devils are going down, man. Yo, your kingdom is going to be destroyed. All right? You ain't going to be able to accomplish and, and, and enjoy your new world order, man. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Yeah, we're, we're well aware of what's going on. Okay, because Yahabashim Yahweh Shai has given us that eye salve. We're paying attention to the things that are taking place on the world uh, stage, and we lining it up with biblical prophecy, man. Okay, that's how we are able to determine how close we are to the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, while well, you people out here, you think, oh, this is just, you know, things that's happening. Things like this always happen. You know, you got wars that always break out. You know, we're going to be good, though. America, hey, man, they got the best military. We ain't got to worry about nothing, you know, because you don't understand what's going on. It says, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. And Jake is sleep out here, man. Jake is in a, in a, in a deep sleep. You know, so deep that if you could shake him and try to wake him up, he ain't waking up. Okay, so uh, is an individual like that, you just got to leave him alone. Let him sleep. Okay, it says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others. So we ain't supposed to be in the mindset that these so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are out here, man. Just completely bugged out, you know, worrying about what's going on in this world. We focused on the things that pertain to you. How about Shimmy? How was shot? Which having this mentality is going to keep us away from this destruction, man. Okay. It says, for they that slack you, uh, therefore let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Okay. And to be sober minded is not to have your mind clouded by outside influences. Okay. You want to uh, be able to make sharp and concise decisions, man. And you're going to need to have a sound mind and a sober mind in that day. Because any wrong move could get you put to death, man. All right. It says, for they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that are slacking. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love. And that's what's going to get us delivered, man. Our faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. And if you have faith in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you're going to do what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai told you to do. Okay. Hoping that if you continue to do these things, there's going to be a great reward for you, man. It says, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For the Most High have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. And that's the reason why we've been woken up to this truth. Okay. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has extended mercy unto us. We could be like these niggas out here in the world, man. Walking up and down the street, completely bugged out, not knowing what the hell is going on. Worried about, you know, hey, man, how I'm going to get this next loud pack, you know? Or well, where, where, where the next party at, you know? We could be like that, man, as we once were in the world, you know? Worried about the, the cares of, of this life, you know? But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has revealed to us something that's, you know, uh, way deeper and more important. Than those things that we were into in the world, man. Okay, it says, For the Most High have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him, man. So, regardless of what happens to us, okay, whether we wake or sleep, which is going into us being alive or dead, okay, we still going to live with Yahweh Shah. All right. We still, you know, uh, are going to receive that pardon if we endure until the end, man. Okay. 
So it don't matter what happens to us. As long as we stay on this path, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to take care of us as he, as he said, man. It says, wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another even as ye also do. Okay? And these are comforting words, man. To know that regardless of what happens to these bodies that we have here, Yahweh Shem Yahweh is still going to give us that reward. Okay? It's not the intention of the Heavenly Father that we succumb to you know, uh, the different plagues and, and punishments that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has slated to come down here on the earth, man. Okay. The Most High revealed this truth unto us to be delivered. Okay. And we have to continually move in that, in that, uh, that, that manner, man. Okay. He had a mindset that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to deliver you, which having that mindset is going to cause you to move in a way that's pleasing to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, since we want to go into that, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Yahweh Hakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elder bishops at Great Millstone. Shalom.